Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods, and welcome back to another video on the truth about SAM SFX Versa thread or metallic Versa thread or Versa metallic thread. Um, today we're going to um, be using the color you see right here, which is really a mixture between black and silver. Um, couple colors I really like to use quite a bit, um, but I'm really interested to see how this black and silver SAM SFX thread is going to come out. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this started. Get a little bite on here really quick. And while I'm getting this set up, I just want to remind everyone, uh, SAM SFX Versa thread um, comes in 100 yard spools only um, at 65 uh, yards of thread on each of those spools. Um, as you saw earlier, it comes in a little plastic case um, with a set of eight threads and all eight threads in every case are exactly the same. Um, it's not like it's a mixture every time you buy it type of thing. Um, so we're going, going ahead and getting this started. Getting my burnishing tool on there a little bit. And so we're going to do um, about two to three inches of a wrap um, with this black and silver color. Starting to come out okay so far, I think. Um, if you're interested um, in purchasing this uh, SAM SFX thread uh, down in the video description. There's a link um, where you can go uh, into Amazon and purchase this thread. That's the only place I've seen it at, um, but you can go ahead and purchase the thread there if you're interested in buying it. Again, it comes with eight colors um, and uh, it's a great way to support the channel because I'll get a very, very small um, portion of that if you do decide um, to purchase the thread. Um, so thank you very much in advance uh, for going down into the video description block um, and clicking on that link um, down there and buying the thread. So we're probably at about an inch already. Back that off just a little bit. Um, I'm not so sure what I think. I don't really, I'm not really seeing any, too, too much pattern, if you will. But let's see um, what it does. And um, hey, what, let me know what you think so far down in the comments block um, about this black and silver um, Versa thread by SAM SFX. Do you like the look of it so far? Um, do you not like the look of it so far? Again, let me know. And then, of course, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys coming in and checking out the videos. Um, you know, please, if you're getting something uh, out of this video and you find it useful, please uh, smash the like button uh, and help the channel out. All right, so we're, we're moving along a little bit. Um, I'm starting to kind of like the thread now right about here. I wasn't so sure down here, but here it looks like you're st we're starting to get a little bit of a different pattern. Uh, and, and I kind of like the pattern. So we'll just keep wrapping it a little bit, see what this, what this does. All right. Yeah, so you can see we're, we're getting some, a little bit of, it kind of, I want to say it looked kind of staticky over here, just like a mixture of black and silver, like it wasn't really doing too much. But here, it looks like we're getting these black lines 
more like it's giving us more of a pattern. Um, I definitely, as always, I definitely would use it as an under wrap. Um, not so sure about a standalone decorative wrap quite yet. Um, but let's keep wrapping. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of jump to our next, uh, next trial, if you will. So, yeah, we're, we're at just about two inches or just over two. So let's just keep going a little bit more. And you can definitely see some of that pattern out of there. It's, it's got a little bit. Um, you know, it takes on kind of a little bit of a, of a, a, a tiger wrap, if you will. I guess really more of a camo wrap, but just with two colors. Um, but we'll see. All right. Where are we at? Right about two and a half inches. So it's, I mean, it's it's not bad. Um, fairly tight. It is, again, just two colors, the black and the silver. Um, both colors, the black and the silver are metallic. Um, and I think just because it's only two colors, um, it's, a, it's a little tight, if you will. Uh, the pattern that we're getting out of it. But on the other hand, you have a really dark color with a very light color in it. Um, and so I, I do kind of like that, uh, that pattern. I don't want to use the word zebra because it's, that's a different brand of thread, but it's definitely got that kind of look to it. Um, so let's go ahead and just, let's, let's wrap this one off really quick. All right. Let me just burnish it down a little bit. And we'll come over the top with your razor, clean that off. And that's what that looks like. Pretty interesting um, black and silver wrap. And you know, that would look good by itself, I think. If you did a short piece on a decorative wrap between uh, a split grip, or maybe just coming off of the foregrip. I think that would look really good. So let's let's give it another test. Let's give it a go with the dragon scale wrap. And we're going to go fairly quick on this again, just, you know, for the sake of time. I'm just going to put a small piece of tape right here just to kind of hold that down for a minute. And then we'll come back here. All right, and we're going to start wrapping this dragon scale and starting to get this thing to sit down a little bit. All right, and then we're going to cut this working into the thread. Okay, so let's take a look. And again, I'm going to go quite quick um, just for, again, the sake of time. I mean, I'll do a little bit, I'll use my burnishing tool a little bit here, but I'm just trying to spare you guys a little bit of time because I know time is precious, but I also want, I want us to see what this is going to look like um, in a rough dragon scale pattern.
All right, here we go. Little burnishing. And we'll just keep wrapping. A little bit of burnishing. What do you guys think so far on the dragon scale with this, with this uh, black and silver SAM SFX Versa thread? I think it's pretty interesting. You definitely can see the pattern in it. So we'll just keep on wrapping. Oops. And again, um, you know, if it comes, uh, the SAM SFX th thread comes on a, uh, only in a size A, uh, and it comes on, only on a, um, 65 yard spool, a little less than, uh, you know, your typical nylon thread of 100 yards or your, uh, you know, Pro Wrap Versa blend thread, uh, 100 yards on that spool as well. So it's a little bit shorter, um, you know, by 35 yards, but uh, I think it still is enough. Um, I think it still is enough thread. Uh, you know, for you to do quite a few rods. When you think about, you know, most most spools of thread at 100 yards, um, you know, in a size A are going to probably cost the average consumer around $5 a spool. Um, you know, this Versa thread, or excuse me, this Versa thread um, by SAM SFX, um, you know, comes with the eight spools or the eight different colors. Uh, you know, and it's retailing for about $20 for a set of eight. Um, so you're really getting, um, you know, you're really getting uh, eight spools of this metallic Versa thread by SAM SFX for 20 bucks, where you would usually be spending um, $20 on just four spools uh, of size A, um, you know, metallic thread. Uh, or nylon thread or something like that if you are just buying another brand. So it's, it's not too bad. Um, and the thread, you know, um, it the quality seems to be pretty good. Um, it holds up pretty well. It doesn't, uh, you know, it's not snapping. It's not fraying when I'm wrapping or cutting it. Um, you know, it's not trying to unwind or anything when I make a cut with the scissors or the razor blade before, you know, I move on to another part. So it's, it seems like it's pretty good, pretty durable thread. So we're almost done. And you can see that dragon scale pattern looks pretty good with that black and silver. I think you lose the pattern a little bit. Uh, and you guys will see what I mean here as soon as we're done. But that might just be me. Um, you guys may see it uh, a little differently than I do. But I will definitely show you what I'm talking about here in a second. And again, going quickly here for the sake of time. Because I'm sure you guys are wanting to jump on to another video of mine or somebody else that you like to watch on YouTube. Um, so I just want to make sure, you know, I'm not wasting your time here today. All right, we're coming down towards the end. Take that piece of tape off. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and secure um, this wrap. I'm going to tie this down.
Okay, got that tied down. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. So first of all, um, I think I think it looks good in a dragon scale wrap. Uh, you know, I went I went quite quick. So, uh, but I think it, I think this silver and black looks good um, on a dragon scale. That being said, this is what I mean by I think it loses its pattern. So here, when I'm using the thread by itself um, on the blank, I'm getting a, a, a really a kind of unique um, pattern for just only having two colors in the thread, the, the, the silver and the black. And then again, two totally different um, colors, you know, on the white and black scale. We're talking about a silver and black. So silver, very, very light, um, you know, with black being on the, you know, the far right end of that being extremely dark. Um, but you get some of these cool little lines, zebra lines or tiger lines, if you want to call them, um, in that wrap. And then when you put it on a dragon scale wrap, I think because the awesome pattern that a dragon scale gives you, you lose some of these detailed black and or silver, whichever way you want to call them, stripes within that thread. So, yeah, I mean, I like it. Um, looking at it as just a thread wrap or a dragon scale wrap. Uh, Although the dragon scale wrap, you know, it's got some great color to it. I prefer to use the silver and black in a standalone wrap by itself if I'm going to use it. Again, uh, I think it would look great on a short wrap um, by itself if, you know, you're taking up space between a split grip. Um, or if you're just coming off the fore end uh, or the fore grip a little bit with a wrap, I think this would look good by itself. And then you complement it with another color. Um, you know, that would look really good um, for some tag wraps on it. So, yeah. So, hey, uh, I hope you're able to get something out of this video. And please feel free to share it with somebody that you think that might find it of value. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button down there. Um, and watch this next video right here. Take care, guys. Until next time. Take care.